thunderstorm coming and I'm trapped out here. See, we have to ring the bell to get into our, I, I guess it's our hotel, it's our, climb the wall, there we go, there we go. Gracias, we were gonna get this rain done. No, thank you. If you can hear it, there's a thunderstorm going on behind me. Um, we're about 8,500 feet at the equator, just outside of Quito. In a, a little, uh, it's a little kind of a plantation preserve um, that this uh, landowner has, has made into a, I don't know what you call it, it looks like an old homestead. We're staying in the old ranch house. And I asked the clerk for peanut butter. And this is the second time this has happened. They take you to an aisle and it's just, it's not even refrigerated. It's just margarine. And then I go, no, peanut butter. They don't know what peanuts are in, in Ecuador. Peanuts don't exist. Other things that don't exist in Ecuador, uh, Dr. Pepper doesn't exist. I'm having a hard time grappling with the fact that there's palm trees and tropical and flowers and butterflies. We're at 8,500 feet. In, we're actually higher than that, I think we're 8,700 feet, almost 9,000 feet here at the equator, and uh, highs are about 65 and lows are 45, and it stays in that narrow range with these thunderstorms. So I guess the dogs have started barking. So around this facility, it's basically what you'd see in any place else in Latin America, small family farms and dogs barking. and chickens running around and dirt roads. Um, remember, this is this is one of the nicer suburbs of Quito, so I thought it would be a little more metropolitan here, but evidently it's not. But it's absolutely beautiful. People are friendly. Um, did a lot of birding today. And tomorrow, oop, there goes another, uh, another bird. So the other thing you can't get a hold of here, even though they grow hemp, um, all over the place. You can't get CBD here. Uh, uh, very conservative. They look at you like, you know, you Americans, you don't want drugs. No, we don't want drugs, we want CBD. Sandy, don't go in there. You'll be cursed. It's the ancient Inca. There's really, really cold air coming out of it. There's what? Really, really cold air. That's because it's the Inca tunnel. There's probably serpents. Harrison Ford's in there. So this this is on private property that some sort of Inca tunnel ruin that the landowner told us about. So we'll we'll come back and explore it later. So we're at breakfast at the how do you say this? Jimenez Lodge? I would guess Jimena. Jimena Lodge and Keto. Get some tropical fruits here well the pineapple but there's some other weird thing mango, here and then this weird i shouldn't say weird it's, it's a fruit from the and then fruit. if you just go over here uh there was like a saffron french where do you go and it's gone now the lady scared him this doesn't taste like anything i've had before uh, this is sandy taking pictures of me <laughs> we're wandering around this canyon we're going to come back with a guide uh, maybe tomorrow or later today, but we wanted to do it on our own first to see what It's always fun to go f uh, First on your own and then bring the guide and answer all your questions, but it looks Actually pretty scary down there There's a giant yucca plant over there Like biggest yucca I've ever seen <laughs> It's pretty amazing Um Oh, we're getting some sun. Yeah, get the sun coming out. Now, we know not everything is native here because there's eucalyptus trees back over there, which aren't native to the north. like the U.S., where, you know, some yeah, invasive but, species get here. Well, I think they planted them for all you know, these. Everything is new here. I mean, every flower, every bird. Um, that sound that we hear in the background. Sounds like a, a American robin, but they don't have them here. We're pretty sure it's a, a grosbeak. There's some kind of acorn here. Yeah, on the ground. Yeah. These are the 
tops of the acorns. Yeah, yeah. What we have here is a blue bird with a yellow belly eating shit. And he flew away. <laughs>